Hey Tularinos, a while back Reggie on the road uh, showed us his Buck and Hickman uh, tool catalog collection and uh, I thought it'd be nice to have one of those and uh, you know he said they could be had for 20 or 30 pounds at their uh, boot sales but uh, they're a little harder to come by over here um, if you look up eBay and stuff sometimes people want big money for them especially if they're in really good shape so I was looking around and I thought, you know, what am I going to do with a catalog that's mostly British tools, you know, because I, or English tools, because I don't, although I love to find some, I don't really get too many. So I wondered if there was an equivalent American tools book. And lo and behold, at least one year in 1902, they made one, American tools. Buck and Hickman Limited. So uh, this is actually a reprint from 1989 by, let me get it right, the Midwest Tool Collectors Association, November 1989. That's the reprint. So the book is of 1902 catalog, but this copy is a reprint. So this was available for $18. I found it on Amazon somebody was selling it. It's in pretty good shape. It's not great. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's fine for me, uh, especially for that price. So, uh, American Tools. It specifically says in the front, you know, the Buck and Hickman part, it says, uh, this catalog is also embodied in our complete American catalog. This portion containing small tools only is published for the convenience of those not requiring or dealing in machinery. So they did have a bigger one than this, you know, a thicker one. But this was all specifically for uh, smaller tools. Um, there is an index, which is helpful. It is organized not by manufacturer, it is organized by the tool itself, by what kind of tool it is. The beginning is mostly machinist tools, uh, chuck, uh, lathe chucks and things, cutters, all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm going to view from the back because that has more of the kind of stuff, you know, we're normally looking for. So we got... Uh, Clocks and forges. Wire brushes, all different kinds. Special pulleys. Now check this out. Um, on this page we got this double action ratchet screwdriver, which is kind of cool. But then right here, champion screwdriver. It's got that kind of notched ferrule. Uh, I have a couple of these. Uh, it says, the handle is made of thoroughly well-seasoned apple tree wood. The fluted handle gives the best possible grip. Every blade is tested to split a screw head. They are intended for and will stand harder work and more pounding than any screwdriver known to the trade. Pretty impressive marketing there. Glass cutters and spoke shaves, especially planes. Now this is kind of cool. Um, it shows here uh, this flexible round plane where you can change the curvature. It's for planing round circular things. Uh, I don't know if you guys just watched Mr. Pete's latest video which was about a tool auction where he picked up one of these in his lot. So, kind of cool. I'd never seen one before <laughs> till today, and I noticed it in the catalog because I knew what it was. Saws. Henry Diston and Sons. Lots of saws. Little giant pruning saw. Socket chisels. Drills. Adjustable. All different kinds. There's our push drills. Miller's Falls. Shop tool carts. There we go, look at that. Looks familiar. I got a couple of those. Brick 
Bernard's patent pliers, Porter's bolt cutters, hacksaws, Starrett hacksaws, Miller Falls, Miller's Falls hacksaws. Now look at this. This is cool. It's a chain connecting link that pivots in the center, and so when it rotates closed, it forms a, a figure eight. So when you put this uh, on two pieces of chain, and once it's closed, those pieces of chain will keep it from coming apart. It is the Keystone Connecting Link, uh, patented in 1885. It's a, it's a pretty neat description here. I won't bore you with uh, reading the whole thing, but man, it'd be nice to find one of those out there in the world someday. That'd be a gem to find. Clamps and lay the dogs. Here we go. Adjustable wrenches. Adjustable wrenches. Drop forged engineer's wrenches. Williams. Stilson's pipe wrenches. Barrett lever jacks. Pipe cutters. Vulcan patent drop forged steel chain pipe wrench. Oil and water pumps. Hull's patent sudden grip vices. It even has, it shows you the cutaway of how it works. Pretty neat. Parker's vices. Looks like uh, Buck and Hickman only imported Parker vices from the United States because there's no other brand vices in here. So there again, something to keep in mind. This catalog is only going to include the American tools that Buck and Hickman was importing. So like like these clippers. <laughs> Uh, fancy levels, lots of Starrett and Brown and Sharp in here. Now we're kind of getting towards the front, which is more uh, machinist stuff, and uh, tons and tons of machinist things listed in here. Starrett and Brown and Sharp must have sold a lot of stuff into uh, England and whatnot. That's a weird one. Look at that thing. Patent equivalence micrometer gauge. It has a dial inside. Interesting. Patented in Great Britain and America, it says. Huh. Shows you wire gauges and different equivalents. Huh. That's pretty sweet. I need to find one of those somewhere. So, there you have it. It's, uh, it's a neat book to have, and uh, I suspect they're not too hard to come by since they were reprinted in 1989, and they can be had for not a whole lot of money. So, there you go.